Hi, my name is Ellie Paws from the Yoga Home. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing moon salutations. So if you've never done one, they're really fun. I'm sure you've heard of sun salutation. And if you haven't, well, you can listen to more videos of mine, but sun salutation is a good way to warm up the body before you get deep into your asana, like in-depth stretches of your practice. And it's usually done at the beginning of the practice. Now, moon salutations, you can take it slow because it's a little bit more of honoring the moon, the yin style, the nurturing, or you can go f fast in it. And I'll show you kind of what I mean by that because you're it jumps right into doing different postures. So if you want to be more warm, go ahead and do some sun salutations before you do the moon salutation. So I'll take you through it. And then if you enjoy it, please share this. It's I, I'm so glad that I can have this platform to gift to you and just subscribe um, that little button below to the side to the right over there you know where it is <laughs> the, or hit the bell button because every Monday I'll be posting a video okay so let's begin you start at the top of your mat now I just want to mention that there's a lot of different variations and, and ways to do this I've been doing this for years um, but people add their own little thing and I've added my own little thing as well. So some of them are very similar, some are totally different. So I start mine um, with feet parallel and then facing that way instead of toward the front of your, the room or your mat. Okay. So you just come into a Tadasana stance. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale to go to one side, your half crescent moon. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side. And you really want to lengthen and find space. You can hang out here as well. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, you'll step your right foot out to the side. It's a really long mat. And bring both toes out, heels in to your goddess pose. Okay, and just sit sit down into your hips, bending the knees, and then the elbows are 90 degrees. And you're kind of squeezing the back body. Okay, now you can do your goddess pose, inhaling and exhale. Sticking the tongue out if you want. This is a little added feature. Now I'm going to talk your way through the first one, and then we'll just cycle through a nice flow on the second part. Okay, just so you can get what I'm doing. This one, I just like to hang out here and, and feel it into the inner thighs and the hips. Knees are separating. Okay, and then inhale. Turn your right toes to face the back of the mat. You're about a leg's distance. Triangle pose. As you come into it, lower the hand down. The other arm can go all the way up towards the sky. Feeling really active through the back leg, lengthen throat through both side body. And then just feeling this nice open space and calm breath. Good. And then usually this is done a little bit quicker, but we will go slow just to, to guide you through the first one. I would do a little tiny step up and bring the toes angled towards the back of the mat. Your hands can be down on the ground or a block. As you draw your right hip back, left hip forward, Parsvottanasana, otherwise known as pyramid pose. <laughs> Lengthen the spine. Exhale, folding into it. So both legs are straight and strong. Good. Just get a couple breaths in there. And then step all the way back with that left foot. Left knee lowers down. We'll come into like a under niasana low lunge. Reaching the arms up. Inhaling. Like I said, this one will be a lot slower than the next round. And you can also hang out in these postures. So let's half squat to one side, to the right side. So you just pick your hips up, turn, keep that left leg straight. Half squat to this side, okay? And if you're all the way up here, that's fine. If you can't come down onto your leg, we're just moving anyways. So from here, we'll half squat all the way over to the other side 
and then turn to face the front, doing the low lunge on the left leg. Okay, reaching the arms up, finding space, pressing the feet into the earth. Good, exhale, hands come down. And then just lengthen both legs, step up with that back foot, angle the right toes so the right hip is coming forward a bit, left hip is back. Parsvottanasana again. Breathing into it. And then open up the right toes, heel toe the back foot to come to your triangle posture. So bring that left hand up the leg and then open the chest and the top arm. Finding your triangle pose. Breathing into it, Uttita Trikanasana. Good, and then we'll come all the way back up. And basically, we're reversing everything, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So come into that hip opener posture. Then your goddess. <sighs> and then step towards the back of your mat. So you bring your left foot to meet the right. This time we're on the right hand side. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Good. And then we come back down to dasana. So basically, we want to end up at the front of the mat how we started. So let's do it again, except for going in that direction. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale to one side, inhale, exhale other side. Now this one might be a little bit faster just to show you. Step the left foot out, goddess pose, hands come down, feel the hip opener, couple breaths here, spreading the toes, Good, and then left toes turn open, triangle posture on this side. Breathing. Turning to face the front, lengthen and fold, Parsvottanasana. Stepping that right foot back so the right knee lowers, coming down, arms up, half moon. Good, and then hands come in front, squat on one side, and then walk your hands, squat to the other side, and turn to face the back of the mat, low lunge, arms reach up. Good, hands come down, scoot that back foot up, straighten both legs, folding. Good, inhale, lengthen spine. Right hand comes to the right leg. Open the left toes and the hip and start to lengthen that left arm to the sky. Triangle posture. Good, inhale to come up. Toes out, heels in. Nice hip opener. And then goddess, inhale, exhale, stepping all the way up to where you first started. Inhale, arms reach, exhale to one side, inhale, exhale other side, inhale back to center and exhale releasing the arms. So that is your sun salut or moon salutation. Chandra Namaskar, and usually I like to use these to honor the moon, whether it's a full moon or a new moon, which is today, um, not your today. I'm, I'm posting these Monday, so uh, close enough though. We're in the new moon of Scorpio, and it's a, a really intense time to let go of old stuff and write in your journal and get clear with your intentions. And then you kind of celebrate that when the full moon comes around. So I hope you enjoyed 
please subscribe and maybe share if you, if you really like the video. Let me know in the comment section below if this is your very first time actually doing the moon salutations. Just write in the comment box, first time. And I appreciate you. See you on the next video. Namaste.